Hey guys, so I was trying out the debugger for Visual Studio Code with a Node.js application and some really weird stuff was happening and I'm not sure what the heck I'm doing wrong or if this is the expected behavior of this, but it's acting differently than any other debugger that I've used before. So I'm not sure what's going on, if it's just airing out and it's acting weird or if this is how it's supposed to work. So how I have this set up here I just came over here and clicked on this little spider guy. I clicked on the cog and clicked on Node.js, um, which created this little guy right here. And then since I'm using Babel, I added this runtime executable um, right here so that it would go into my node modules in the bin folder to actually call Babel node and run that because I'm using import statements and stuff because by default it just uses the regular node executable, which you don't want for this. Um, we can get rid of that breakpoint. Um, but so I was trying to debug this add user um, middleware that I have and just trying it out. And the server starts up well, so my launch.json is working well, but I'll show you what's happening. So I go ahead and hit run. And the server will take a second and it'll start up. Um, it starts up like I would expect. And we see the same kind of debugger window here that you'd normally see on a debugger where you can pause and play it. Um, and then you can step over, step into all that stuff, restart, stop. I'm used to using debuggers like this. First off, you'll notice how it killed my breakpoint, which was odd. Um, and then this was something else that was happening to me where it'd be like grayed out and be unverified. And then I get set breakpoints, request timeout. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, so this is me trying to set another one and like that happened to me a couple times and I was like I don't know what's going on so I stopped the server I recreated it and then I restart the server and then sometimes it'll stay sometimes you get rid of apparently this breakpoint just popped up out of nowhere I didn't have this breakpoint before um, let's take this one out so go ahead and play get rid of this one um, get rid of this one okay so I have all the breakpoints out of my code right now I'm gonna try adding a breakpoint right here cool we're able to add it so you just saw how difficult it was me for me to actually just add a breakpoint here for whatever reason you saw a timeout here below and it would just pop out breakpoints randomly throughout the code which I did not set but anyway next when I actually finally got this to work I then just tried running a piece of the code. So this is a React application that interacts with my Node to server. So when I click login, it makes a request to my server and it hits this breakpoint. And so the next thing I wanted to do was step through the code and watch the logic. Um, one thing I thought that was very odd is I have this rec, res, and next variable here, but I don't see them in local for whatever reason. But hey, that's fine. I'm not complaining too much. And I click on this and I think step over. Normally when I use step over, it'll you know, step over this line, go to this one. So I click on that, what the heck? I jump up to add user for some reason. I don't know how that works. I don't know if it's just like the same thing as clicking the run button, it ran all the way through and came up here. Um, I'm not sure if Visual Studio Code is just their debuggers crap and it's not working. I, I assume it's, you know, it, Visual Studio Code's been out for a while, I assume it's not the debugger itself but I must be doing something odd um, or doing something wrong. So I don't know what's going on here, but like I click step over and I just kind of like, then I go into this runtime.js and a try catch thing. So I don't, I don't know if there's an error happening in my physical code, like the code is causing an error. Cause like I do have a try catch and there is no token when I'm logging in. So it should go to this catch. I'm not sure if it's doing that so I thought, all right, let's restart it again, and I'll try doing this one, the step into. Maybe that'll work like I expected to, to go to the next line. Um, you'll notice it wiped my breakpoint again. We can set it, and weird. Okay, so you saw me click that once, right? <laughs> Look, it added a breakpoint on line 41 and 86. Here's actually where the breakpoint was created, so I have I don't know what's going on right now. Let's try this again. I'm going to restart the server. I'm going to disable that breakpoint. Put this breakpoint back. Cool. Looks like it was a, it went okay. 
it added this praying point bat. I, I don't want it. I just want line 88. Cool. Now we can see if we can trigger that break point again. And we're on it. Nice. So I click step into. Same thing happens. So I have no idea. If you guys have used the Node.js debugger for Visual Studio Code, please let me know if I'm doing something wrong here. Um, if you've gotten it to work, I have no idea what's happening. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I thought I'd just show you what's going on. I wanted to try this and give it a go, but not working quite as well. The, the React one worked much better than this one. But if you've used this before, please let me know if you know how to get this to work, because I'd love to debug my Node.js applications, because this is really nice. But for now, I will just do console log statements until I figure this guy out. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.